Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this tuxedo charm. To make the tuxedo charm, you will need 45 black rubber bands, 6 red rubber bands, and 11 white rubber bands. And you will need a loom and a hook. The loom will be set up in the staggered configuration, so if you have a band of loom, a wonder loom, a crazy loom, or any other brand of loom, you should be able to follow along. This design is very similar to the Christmas sweater charm that I posted a couple of weeks ago. The main difference is, of course, being the bow tie and the white shirt down the middle. But if you've done that charm, you'll definitely have an easy time with this. The hardest part is going to be tying the knot for this bow tie. And we're going to do that first to get it out of the way. The easiest way that I found to tie a knot, and this is similar to the knot that I tied for the feet of the turkey and the duck or the antennas on the ladybug. But for this time, we're going to take two rubber bands at a time. We're going to give them a little bit of a stretch to make it easy for us. Place it around one of your pegs. Wrap it around the next peg and then take your hook in the center to catch the rubber band that you want to pull through like that and that's how I'm going to make my knot. Now I want to add one more rubber band so that we can attach this to the to the tuxedo. So before I take it off the loom, I'm going to take a single red rubber band. I'm going to slide that into this open space. And I'm going to create a basic slip knot by taking one loop inside the other and pulling tight. So now back to completing the bow tie, we just pop these two sides off of the loom and pull tight. So now you have your two rubber bands knotted together and a slip knot extra rubber band in the center so that we can attach this to the tuxedo. Now I'm going to construct the sleeves on the loom. Those of you who made the sweater, if you prefer constructing your sleeves as I do in that video, off of the loom, you can. Um, but I had some people tell me that they had trouble doing that. So I'm going to show how to do it on the loom. So with the arrow pointing down, I'm going to place four pairs of black rubber bands in a row. And then I'm going to repeat that on the other side because our tuxedo has two sleeves. So we need to make it twice. So one, two, three, and four. And now we need to add the white cap band which represents the cuff of the shirt showing through the tuxedo. So to make that I'm going to take a single white rubber band, wrap it around four, three or four times depending on your comfort. So one, I'm just going to do three to keep it simple here but four works great. And now you've got your two sleeves laid out on the loom and we're going to hook those. Make sure you pull back those white cap bands to catch the two black ones underneath. You may want to place a thumb on the white bands to keep them from popping up. You pull those forward. And repeat for the other sleeve.
And there you have your two sleeves on the loom. We're going to take them off and get them out of the way so we can construct the rest of the tuxedo. And we'll attach the sleeves later. So here's one sleeve. And our second sleeve. We can just keep those on the hook until we're ready for them. Put them with our bow tie. <laughs> So now we're ready to lay out the rubber bands on the loom for the tuxedo itself. We're going to start at the top again with the arrow pointing down. Single white rubber band. And then two white rubber bands at a time. And this will be the collar of your shirt on your tuxedo. And now you want to take just a single collar that matches your bow tie and place it from the center forward. Then you're going to take the bow tie that you've constructed and place it as the second band in that position. And then we are ready to add black down the sides. You want to do pairs of black rubber bands four times on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, and on the other side, That's the sides of our tuxedo jacket. And we'll do the center now, which we see we've already got the red. So we wanna do a pair of white, a pair of white, and then a pair of red. So there's our white. White and our red for the belt. Okay. And we need some more black so that we can construct the bottom line of the jacket from the center to the right and on the other side center and bottom left. And we can now place our sleeves. They're going to go here and here, attached to the two shoulders. So one at a time. Just take all four of those rubber bands and place them around that shoulder. And repeat again for the other side. Good work, everyone. And now we're going to, because we want our gentleman in the tuxedo to have nice broad shoulders, we need to take two more rubber bands, place them on the peg that is below that shoulder, and we're gonna run that into the second loop And pull it back here so you can see you now have your sleeve has the cap and one two three and then that third band has the fourth going this way and then we just added in this pair of rubber bands that are going in this direction and I'm going to repeat that on the other side so I'm placing the two rubber bands on the second peg, I'm gonna pull them through that third loop and fold them back over onto here. It's moment, 
gifts like these that I wish I could make my hands invisible so that they wouldn't be in your way while you're watching me do this. But you see it's from this peg going through that third loop and then back over this peg. And that's what's gonna give you a nice broad shoulder for your tuxedo jacket. And we're now ready to add our cap bands. We'll need three that go across the body. These are gonna be doubled, so around each three pegs. Cross them and fold it over again. We need to do that three times. Phew! And now we just have two rubber bands left to place. They're the ones that are represented by these circles on the two bottom corners. We're going to place a single rubber band around three times to create nice neat bottom of the jacket. That was one and this one. One, two, three times around. And we are now ready to begin hooking our tuxedo. So starting from the bottom left corner, you want to pull back that cap band and just catch the top two rubber bands that are going to go to the center. And then we're going to do the same on this side. You may want to keep a thumb on that cap band so it doesn't pop up. You know you've got it right when you have those nice V's, those rubber bands that are the sides of the jacket are still straight. And we're going to work up our center. So pulling the red up and then the white and the next white. And now you're going to pull up the one with the bow. And when you place the bow, just give it a tug so that it comes around under that peg because the collar is going to go up on top of it later. So now we're going to go back down to this corner to do the side of the jacket. One, two, three, and four, and then the collar. Just going to reach in all of these to catch those two white. Bring them up and over your bow onto that peg. And we're going to repeat for this side. bringing the collar to the center, making sure the bow is underneath, and we're ready to attach the loop that's going to keep this all together. We're going to loosen those. And for this one, I actually want to take the loop that's on top through the loop that was on the bottom. Let's see, and then pull that tight to create a knot. And you have constructed a tuxedo. We're ready to take it off the loom. I like to loosen from the bottom and the top so that there's not too much strain on any of these rubber bands. It helps them to keep their shape nice. And 
Once you've got a bunch off, you can use your fingers if you prefer. Just try not to ever pull on only one rubber band. That's when they snap. And for our last, let's just get this in there and pull it off. And that is your tuxedo charm. When you take it off the loom, you're gonna wanna adjust your bow tie for proper placement. Give a little tug on the sleeves to make sure that the tension is even on all of those rubber bands. I hope you enjoyed making the tuxedo charm with me today. If you did, please click like below and consider subscribing, which lets me know that you want me to keep on doing what I'm doing. Now, if you liked the tuxedo, you will also, I'm sure, like the party dress that I will be posting tomorrow. And to complete your celebration collection, we have got the bottle charm with its matching glass and a party hat. And I have so many other charms, so, you know, please do check out my account. Uh, consider subscribing. And if you want to know what charms are going to be posted next, then click the link in the description below to join my email mailing list. My email subscribers are the first to know what will be coming next week. Thank you again. And have a great day.